teaching religion in the practice of peace is very important for training a new generation of uh, practitioners, policy makers, eventually also scholars who can understand the relevance of religion in different social, political, economic processes they are going to face in their work agenda. So it's really moving away from the angle that has been dominant uh, in political science about religion as a cause or source of conflict. So what does it mean to train this new generation? I think the work is to be done on both sides. On the side of uh, experts of politics, it's about time indeed to move away from the security angle and look at religion as a relevant dimension of social and political processes. It also means that we have to move away from the perception or apprehension of religion only as a set of belief that is used to counter uh, secular politics or to uh, provide alternative uh, ideology to the failure of nationalism or liberalism or communism. This has been the dominant approach in political science. So how do we move away from that? being that there is a lot of work done on the role of religion in different social contexts that have to be taken into account. The symposium is a brand new initiative uh, from the Dean, uh, David Hampton, to bring together scholars and students of um, different disciplines, uh, religion, but also anthropology, uh, political science, to discuss exactly this issue of what can be the role of religion in bringing peace and in solving conflict. So it is a very interesting in initiative in the sense that the goal is to have a multidisciplinary audience uh, with the hope that it will also bring some ideas for um, new courses, new methodology, and new ways to teach uh, um, a diverse audience on, on the topic.